If you're a freelancer in 2025 and you're not automating things, you're essentially leaving money on the table. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys five automations or five AI agents that every single freelancer needs in 2025. These automations are going to help you save time, get more clients, and actually enjoy the freedom that you signed up for. So without any further ado, let's dive in. The first automation I want to talk about is an outreach agent. If you're a freelancer, you know how annoying and time consuming it is to send out cold emails to potential clients, introducing yourself and your services, and also keeping track of who replied and who didn't. Now this agent is going to help you completely automate that process. So here's how it works. You're going to have to have a Google Sheets file where you have all the names and emails of potential clients you want to reach out to. And whenever you add a new name to that list, our agent will automatically send them an outreach email. The email it's going to send is going to be completely personalized. It's going to introduce your services, yourself, and it's going to ask them if they want to hop on a 15 minute call to discuss their project. Not only that, this agent will also follow up after a couple of days if they haven't replied. So let me show you guys how this automation works. So as you can see, I'm inside of Zapier. And by the way, if you want to learn how Zapier works and how to start using it, I have a quick 10 minute tutorial out that's going to pop up somewhere here or maybe here. Uh, you can go check it out and it's going to teach you how to make automations in Zapier from scratch. What we have here is basically a Google Sheets node, which is going to look for new spreadsheet rows and as soon as you add the, your name and the email of your client, after which what it's going to do is that it's going to send them an email using the Gmail node, and then it's going to add a delay for you know a couple of days. You can send this to maybe two days, three days, however much you want, and then it's going to send them a follow up email as well. You can do this a couple of times. Let's say maybe you send two or three follow up emails, and after that you can just make it stop emailing them. Now, if you want this exact workflow without having to create it yourself, what you can do is you can go to the description, and down there you're going to find a link for this specific workflow, which is going to take you inside of Zapier, and it's going to have the same exact prompt that I gave it to make this workflow. So you're pretty much not going to have to do any work. You're going to get this workflow pretty much already made for you. All right, now let's move on to our second AI agent, which is going to be a lead capture agent and also a follow-up automation. Now let's assume that you got an email from a client asking about a project. They want to hire you for a project and they're asking for your rates and all that stuff. And when that happens, in a lot of cases, people forget to reply or they reply late, which causes them to lose the client. Now this agent will automatically respond to any emails inquiring about any project. It's going to send them a personalized email and it's going to, again, ask them to hop on a 15 minute call and it's also going to send a link for your calendar with them and after this once again if they don't respond within a few days it's also going to follow up and it's going to send them another email so let me show you how this works inside of zapier so this workflow is a little bit more complicated but it's still pretty simple uh, what we're doing here is that we're waiting for a new email once we get a new email we're going to simply reply to that email we're going to send them a personalized response using their name and information um, and after that we're also going to create a table you can also use google sheets instead of zapier tables by the way uh, to create that but we're basically creating a record and we're saving the name and email of that specific um, client so that we can keep following up and you know like stay in touch with them so so that's how this automation works again if you want to access this exact automation you can go to the link in the description and you will find a link which is going to take you to this specific workflow now if you're enjoying this video so far please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel because i'm planning on making more content like this very very soon but with that being said let's get back to the video now our third automation is going to be for those freelancers who are trying to build a personal brand and they're trying to get clients through social media i know you have to post to a lot of platforms nowadays and it's you know it gets pretty hectic so our AI agent is going to take care of exactly that. Let's assume you post a video to YouTube. What it's going to do is that it's going to take the description of that and the title of that. It's going to summarize that into an Instagram post, a LinkedIn post, a Twitter post, all those things. And it's automatically going to post those to all those social media platforms. This is going to save you a lot of time. And it's also going to funnel people from those platforms to your YouTube channel. And it can eventually turn them into paying clients. So the way this works inside of Zapier is actually pretty interesting. So in Zapier, you have access to a lot of different tools. YouTube is one of them. So using this YouTube node, we're going to look out for any new videos on our channel. You're going to have to log into your Google account and connect your YouTube channel for this to work, by the way. Uh, and then we're also connecting this to ChatGPT. Basically, ChatGPT will be used to summarize your description and your title into an Instagram post, a LinkedIn post, or you know any social media post that you want. So in our case, we have two ChatGPT nodes because I'm converting this into a LinkedIn post first and then a Twitter post. I know it's called X, but I still prefer to call it Twitter. Uh, and then we have this Postpone node. What the Postpone node does is basically, if you don't know about Postpone, it's a tool which you can use to automatically post to a lot of different social media apps. And so we're using that node to basically first post the tweet and then post the LinkedIn post. So that's how it works. Again, all this is very simple to set up inside of Zapier. You just need to put a prompt and it's going to do pretty much everything for you. And same as the other automations, if you want to check out this exact automation, go to the link in the description and you'll find a link to this. This next automation is for sending invoices and payment reminders to your clients. So I know a lot of freelancers that, you know, get pretty awkward asking for payment. And also it's a pretty big hassle trying to follow up with the client again and again, if you don't receive the payment. So the way this agent works is that, again, you're going to have a Google Sheets file with rows of the projects that you're working on. Once you mark a project as completed, what it's going to do is that it's automatically going to generate an invoice and send it to your client. And once they send an email back telling us that it's paid, it's going to mark the Google Sheets row 
zero as paid. And again, if they don't pay within seven days, it's going to send a follow up email and it's going to keep doing that until they pay. So this automation will help you stay professional and get paid faster as well. So let's see how this works inside of Zapier. So the way this automation works is again, pretty simple. We just have a Google Sheets node and we're basically using this filter node, which is going to filter uh, by conditions. So our condition is that a specific row, it has to be completed. If it says completed, then it's going to basically send them an email. And it's again, pretty straightforward and pretty simple to make inside of Zapier. And same as before, if you want to check this workflow out, go to the link in the description. Now, one thing that I didn't do in this automation, which you could definitely do is basically if you get paid using Stripe, you can also integrate Stripe with Zapier. So the moment you actually get paid that amount in Stripe, it's going to update that automatically for you. You're not going to have to wait for the email from the client to uh, basically update your sheets row. And that really shows you how powerful Zapier is. So if I just go to plus and go to apps, you're going to see how many different apps we have that we can use. You can just go to apps right there. And you can see we have a whole bunch of different apps. So as I mentioned, Stripe is here and there's a lot of different other options as well that you can integrate inside of your automations. And our final automation is one that I actually recently discovered. So in a lot of cases, when freelancers complete a project, they just disappear, right? What you're supposed to do instead, or at least what the top freelancers do is they keep following up and keep checking in with the client. And obviously doing that manually is a hassle. If you have a lot of clients, you can't just, you know, email each and every one of them, which is where this automation comes into play. Again, we're going to be using a Google Sheets file. You can even use the same exact Sheets file from the previous automation. And I think what you should really have is just one sheets file where you track all of your projects and then have multiple automations connected to that sheets file. But what it's going to do is that once you mark a project as completed in Google Sheets, it's going to wait for 30 days and then send the client an email and just, you know, check in with them and ask them how everything is going and if they want any more work. I think doing this is extremely important because it can get you a lot of repeat clients and a lot of clients that you probably wouldn't get otherwise. So again, let's jump into Zap here and I'll show you how it works. You can see right here, we have the same exact Google Sheets node after which we are filtering using the completed condition and then we're adding a delay for 30 days and then it's going to send them an email so that's how easy it is to make this workflow and you can check it out using the link in the description but yeah these are five automations that i believe every single freelancer needs in 2025 you need to use ai in your workflows and you need to use ai to automate as much of the boring tasks as possible so you can focus on creativity and actually doing the work that you enjoy doing so i would definitely recommend you all to spend some time setting up these automations because in the long run they're going to save you so much time and you're going to be thanking yourself later now at the end i just want to mention if you guys want me to make a full step-by-step -step tutorial for all of these automations or any of them just let me know in the comments below and i will definitely consider making that apart from that be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye